yeah, I feel like we should be able to express ourselves in any way we feel honest. Yeah, it, it's interesting because I, I think food has, has been kind of last on the list over the years. So people, again, weren't seeing it as a craft per se. For example, I design all my restaurants. I've designed all my restaurants, I always have. I find to actually go into different fields helps me uh, with my own craft. So, you know, if I was like around someone, like a musician or anything like that, like that actually helps exercise that muscle for me. My mom is really uh, very much so an artist in the kitchen, you know what I mean? And I think her doing so many different things has influenced me to not be beholden to any avenue or one lane and be able to like, you know, express myself creatively in any way I feel. I mean, for me, I just really started cooking this year. Like I listen to a lot of old soul. I mean, sometimes I'll be listening to like Rancid or No Effects or something, but usually it's like a Marvin Gaye, Prince type of vibe for me in the kitchen and just, you know, just catching energy. Like my mom would always be listening to a lot of like world music. And my dad as well listened to Ghanaian music, listening to High Life when, when they cook, or she might be listening to The Who or something like that, or The Beatles. So I've always kind of associated the process of cooking with music. There's always gonna be the people that are saying, Oh, well, I like that old album. There's always going to be people that are stuck on what you've done in the past, you know? And you just kind of got to move forward regardless, you know? Yeah, I mean, I also, like, I, th I think with restaurants, you need your Caesar salad. You need your, you know, at the end of the day, I would love to do an esoteric menu, but there's some sort of, of scientific, almost like a scientific mechanism to when we release something that goes... 70% personal creative inspiration, and then there somehow has to be some sort of sprinkled things right. to to kind of soften the blow a little bit, where mm -hmm. it's like, we're not gonna be too creative on you, don't worry, you still have your fucking Caesar salad and your burger, but I'm also gonna introduce you this, through this, I'm gonna bring you in with these, but then I'm gonna put this in front of you, and I want you to try this, and maybe that'll open your mind to something else. Yeah, I mean, that's usually what like singles are. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? right.